Today we're going to talk about Google's recent AI releases and announcements and specifically four topics. First we have JAMA 3 which is Google's latest open source model that you can use locally on your computer. Next you can now use deep research for free for a few times a month without paying which is amazing because I've been paying $200 a month for OpenAI's deep research. They also talked about personalized AI which if you allow them they will use your search history to give you more relevant personalized AI responses. And lastly, this one I added on to it. I've been toying around a lot with Gemini generating images, and I think it could be a good replacement for mid journey. That way you don't have to pay $60 a month to generate images privately. And it could be a good alternative for some instances. There's a lot to cover today. Let's get started. So first, JAMA 3 is here announced by the CEO of Google. And this model is really efficient. You can see the benchmark against some of the other models. It's way smaller than DeepSeek R1, but the performance is better than O3 mini and DeepSeek V3. What we're going to do today is figure out how we can use it locally. So so we're going to install it locally and the app that I'm going to use is called Misty. If you haven't already, you should watch my previous video about the various interfaces because I cover Misty on there and why I'm choosing to use Misty over some of the other interfaces like LM Studio. To use JAMA 3 on Misty, what you have to do is follow some directions to get it working. The key things is to update your Olama so that it's 0.6 version. And so you can see over here in your local AI model that the service version is 0, 0.6.0. You check for updates, but I just follow these directions over here, frankly. And I'm now going to ask, hi, what AI model are you? And now you're in JAMA. Okay, created open weights model. I'm just asking some questions and now it's working. They even checked a few sources here. So this is the local interface that I kind of use to access different models and you can download and install different models. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is about deep research, which Google announced some big upgrades to the performance and availability of the Gemini features and one of them is deep research which you can now use for free for a few times a month they said and then if you want to you can upgrade but over here is where you enable it so you can select deep research I'm just gonna ask it a random question about AI video editing tools and so now you get in-depth answer and they put together a research plan search recent articles identify tools each tools analyze results so start research it's similar to the open AI's version it's coming up with a plan it seems pretty detailed and it's searching a lot of websites and to be honest I was reading some comments on this and people were saying that yeah logically speaking you would expect that Google who is a search engine will give you the most relevant results that's their butter right I do think that Google will have an edge in terms of search results and giving better data than everybody else wow look at how many websites it researched for me it's researching 115 websites guys I think this is pretty cool let's look at the pricing of Gemini Advanced pricing, additional expanded access to deep research. It's $20 per month, but you get access to deep research. I think it's pretty attractive. So after doing the research, which took about five minutes or 10 minutes, I can now export this to docs over here through this button. Click. And now I have this nice looking Google doc that's much easier to read and to edit. I asked for five tools and it's literally like a Gartner report. Overall, I think this is a pleasant surprise for me in terms of Gemini's deep research and how they're granting access to more people so more people can use it for free. This is really valuable to especially students and to researchers like myself. I am really liking it. I'm definitely considering unsubscribing to the OpenAI Pro subscription because that one's $200 and this one I can access it for $20 a month and it's very much worth it. It's visited so many more websites than I expected. Like 140 something websites, right? I am really liking what I'm seeing with Gemini. I think that Google is frankly catching up. And the next thing that we're going to take a look at is personalized AI. It says here that they are going to provide more helpful personal responses over here. Introducing a new experimental capability called personalization powered by Gemini 2.0 flash thinking experimental. With your permission, that's really key because 
Obviously, privacy is a big concern for a lot of us. Gemini can connect with your Google apps and services beginning with search to deliver responses that are even more tailored to your individual needs. This means you can ask Gemini for restaurant recommendations and it will reference your recent food related searches. This is a little bit scary to me too because basically now the AI will know everything about you and you can understand your preferences too. It's scary but maybe it will be very useful. I don't know how much I trust it. Basically what you do is you go to your search history and you can connect now. I'm, I think I'm going to try it and, and I'm just trying what shoes should I buy? <laughs> Is it going to look into my search results? Oh, and it's true. I've been looking at kids shoes and oh my goodness, it's really searching for things that are relevant to me. It's I'm going to this is crazy. It's really looking at my search results. It knows a lot about me and this is scary. I'm uncomfortable, but I don't know. I already enabled it. I think you could change the settings somewhere. So I found it. it. You basically have to go into your Google account under data and privacy and go to search personalization and you could turn that off personalized searched and you could turn it off. It's crazy to me that they know where I am at and where I should eat. I think I'm going to blur this results out because <laughs> I don't want any stalkers, but it's crazy. Okay, so if I turn it on, results are more specific, I think. I toyed around with Gemini. I think it's cool. I think I might use it for a little bit, but I am definitely concerned about my privacy risk and how much the AI knows about me because one day I might be a victim of some AI warfare or whatnot. I don't know. So that's personalized AI. Also, there's something interesting over here about gems too. You can now have a coding partner, a learning coach, or a writing editor. Basically, these are specific AI assistant that you can work with. I thought that's cool too. Lastly, I want to talk about using Gemini for image generation. For this, you would have to go to aistudio.google and then select Gemini 2.0, Flash Experimental, and then Images and Text Enabled. Basically, I don't really want to pay for Midjourney $60 a month if I don't have to, but I do want to generate artwork and use for myself privately. So I am testing around with Google AI Studio to see if they can do similar things. I have a prompt. I'm going to run it and see what it gives me. My problem is make a kawaii sticker sheet. And I think this is actually pretty good if you look at it. It's not perfect, but you could refine it. I'm gonna do this internal errors occurred. Run it again. Okay, I asked for 10 stickers. It gave me a little bit more, but it's a similar style. You can work with it back and forth. And I think the quality is much better than initially. It's giving me more mid-journey vibe. That's another thing I just wanted to share with you guys today that I'm seeing some improvements from using Google to generate images. And this is free. Whereas you would have to pay a lot for mid-journey. I still think the mid-journey quality is great. It's probably better still. For me, if I'm just creating some assets to build an app, I might just go ahead and get started with Google AI Studio. So that's it for today. I know we covered a lot of things. We covered four things from Google's recent releases. I am pretty thrilled with a lot of them. Also a little bit scared with some of them. What about you? What's your thought on it? Let me know in the comments below and see you in the next video. Thank you.